Good morning, everyone. Today we shall be talking about the under gear of a typical railway coach in India called the trolley or the bogey. This is the elevation or the one of the views of the trolley used on the Indian railway system. This is the ICF trolley or the ICF bogey. Let us have a, let us rotate this uh, trolley and try to see how it looks like, how it looks like. First we will take a, a round of this slowly so that you have a fair idea. Now I will be rotating it from top to bottom. Later on we shall be discussing the various assemblies, sub-assemblies of this ICF trolley or ICF OB. So now that uh, you have uh, seen it, let us start. As we can see, this trolley has a frame. This frame is a fabricated frame, fabricated steel frame made from uh, various steel plates and angles. Here, on the left side, we can see it is divided into three portions. On the right also again, there are three portions or sections. And if we see horizontally, it is divided into one, two and three, three parts, right? Now, let us try to understand how the load is transferred uh, to the trolley from the coach and finally to the rail. So the most important component in this trolley is uh, what we call the, this particular component. This component is called the bogey bolster. On the bogey bolster, we have uh, two components which are welded here. It is called the side bearer housing. And here we have a semi-circular piece called the bearing piece. And below that, there is a plate, uh, which is the wearing uh, plate, wearing plate, wearing piece, side bearer housing. And here, there is a hole here, and there's a metal bonded rubber component called the center paper sleeve, on which a big pin goes inside this. So, there are two trolleys in a coach, right? Each trolley has a bogey bolster. Each bogey bolster has a central part where there is a metal rubber bonded item called the center pivot sleeve where a pin enters inside it. This pin is welded to a transfer section in the body called the body bolster. Okay. So what happens now the load has come on the, uh, by the way, the pin does not uh, uh, transfer any load. It uh, is just a pivotal item which helps the coach to negotiate a curve. The entire load of the coach from the top gets transferred to the first to this uh, semicircular bronze piece which we call the wearing piece and then to the wearing plate. From the wearing plate, the load goes on the bogey bolster and from the bogey bolster, it comes to this area, which we call the primary uh, secondary suspension. If we see the secondary suspension, the bogey bolster is supported on two springs, two helical springs called the secondary suspension springs. This secondary suspension spring rests on washers here and the washers rest on a plank called the lower spring plank or lower spring beam. The secondary suspension lower spring beam or spring plank is connected to the uh, bogey frame with the help of an assembly which we call the BSS assembly. BSS means 
Gogi secondary suspension. So this uh, lower spring beam has a bracket here. A pin goes inside this. This is supported on a component called hanger block. There are two hanger blocks here above and below. And then this component is the hanger which hangs the secondary suspension. So we call it the PSS hanger. Bogey secondary suspension hanger. And this is the BSS pin. So the load which comes here on the uh, lower spring beam or the uh, plank through the primary uh, secondary springs, uh, part of it is also taken by a shock absorber, which in the AC coaches is 900 kgs and in the sleeper coaches it is 600 kgs. Once the load comes here, it gets transferred to the BSS hanger and from the BSS hanger it goes to the bracket of BSS hanger and from there to the bogey frame. So half of the load is divided on this, half there and from there one fourth here, one fourth here. So now the load is on the bogey frame. From the bogey frame the now the load gets transferred to the primary suspension. So this is the primary suspension and if we see, if we have a look, there is a component here. Uh, let me zoom it and show it to you. Yeah. One second. Now it is a slightly clear. This component which you see, this uh, circle and a cylinder is here. You can see a cylinder here, this particular cylinder. We call it the axle guide. It guides the axle. It is a cylindrical piece which is welded to the bogey frame here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are total eight uh, axle guides. Now this axle guide works like a piston and this is the axle box. In the axle box, we have a component here, this particular one, this tube. This tube is closed at the bottom and it's called the lower spring seat. This is how it looks like. It is uh, cylindrical here, then a flange is there and again, here it comes below, it comes down through the hole in the axle box. So this uh, lower spring seat acts as the body of the uh, piston assembly that is a cylinder and uh, the axle guide acts as a piston. There is an oil here, we call it the dashboard oil. So it is, this uh, dashboard arrangement is used to dampen the vibrations when the coach is traveling. Now the load in the, uh, once the load comes on the bogey frame here, it gets transferred to the Excel box through the primary springs and the, spring, the springs rest on a component which we call the, it is a polymer component called the hydral washer. You can see the hydral washer here. Now the load is transferred from the frame to the primary springs to the Excel box. And in the axle box, there is a axle and on the axle, there is a bearing. The bearing is housed in the axle box. And here we have a different uh, uh, one to one and a half kg grease is uh, used in this axle box. This axle is connected to the, the wheels are mounted on the axle. So now the load from the spring has come to the axle box. From the axle box, it has come to the bearings. And from the bearing, it has come to the axle. From the axle, the load is transferred to the wheels and from the wheels, it gets transferred to the rail. That is how the load transfer happens in a ICF trolley. Now, let us see some other components. Let us see the brake rigging component. So, if a wheel is to be stopped, if a train is to be stopped, there has to be something which will stop the wheel. So, this is, uh, this component which we see, if you see here, this particular component, this angled component, we call it the brake beam. This brake beam is make, made up of uh, uh, steel flats and angles and uh, around. There's a bracket here on which uh, we call it the brake beam hanger, a uh, brake beam uh, hanger bracket. And then we have a hanger which will hang the brake beam. So there will be two hangers, one hanger here and one hanger here to uh, hang the brake beam on the 
bogie frame this hanger is connected to the brake head this is called the brake head the brake head uh, is a component which will hold the brake block this uh, this is the brake head uh, let me take it here okay this is the brake head uh, and uh, this is the brake block the brake head and the brake block are connected mechanically through this particular uh, component which we call the brake shoe key now when the brakes are applied this brake block you see the brake block here it will touch this particular area of the wheel simultaneously so there are on this on the left side there is a brake block and a brake head here also same thing similarly there is a brake beam there is a brake we can see a brake beam here there is a brake beam here one brake beam here and one brake beam there so in a trolley there are four brake beams and of course there are eight brake beams this is a brake cylinder this brake cylinder has a brake pipe which carries 5 kg pressure from the compressor of the locomotive when the driver applies the brake the piston moves when the piston moves there is a movement of the brake beam and finally the brake block touches the wheel that is how the brakes are applied so this is broadly what it is about the icf trolley in brief now let us see some other components when uh, there are this component which we see uh, let me zoom it for you this component which we see is called the anchor link it is a dumbbell shaped uh, object this is made up of a tube and again this is a tube and they are welded together this component is a silent block which is a metal rubber bonded block so to have to install the anchor link which is a connection between the bogie frame and the bogie bolster we need two brackets there is a bracket which is welded to the bogie bolster this particular bracket and then we need to have one more bracket so that the other part of the anchor link can be welded so this is a bracket of anchor link for the bogie frame one more silent block and here another bracket for anchor link there are two anchor links in a single bogie so let us have a quick recapitulation of what we have studied this is the bogie bolster this is the side bearer housing this is the bearing piece there is a plate below it bearing plate 11 to 14 percent manganese this is a four and a half kilo watt alternator which powers the which charges the batteries which provide train lightning uh, electricity uh, th this is a alternator the alternator will have a pulley this is a four groove pulley there are four pulleys here and these pulleys are connected in turn to the pulley on the axle which is called the axle pulley the axle pulley is mounted on the axle this pulley is in two pieces half upper piece half lower piece and there are four bolts uh, through which it is tightened as the axle moves rotates wheel rotates the axle rotates then the axle pulley rotates this rotation of the axle pulley will rotate the alternator pulley the alternator pulley the shaft will rotate and finally it will generate electricity which will charge the 120 h battery in the coaches now let us see quickly some of the safety arrangements this component uh, which we see is called the safety bracket for the lower spring beam there are two safety brackets here similarly for the excel uh, box also there are two safety brackets see this, this is an excel box housing this is a safety bracket here and this is a safety bracket here so that was all about the icf uh, bogie in brief we can shall be talking about the various other items in detail at some other stage of time kaisa laga bataiyega how did you like it